I'm Lucy and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit off the cuff because I actually started my little DIY project here. And I said, you know what, this is so cute, I want to share it and upload it to my YouTube channel. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I already started with and what I am planning to do with this little trick. So, you can actually get one of these little 18-inch Dollar Tree, uh, I call them little Charlie Brown uh, Christmas trees, right, for dollars. Unfortunately, here in Puerto Rico, we don't have Dollar Tree summer, right? So, I actually found uh, this one in Walmart for a little less than two bucks. So, that wasn't bad at all. And normally, I always also pick up from Walmart some garland. This garland is like two dollars and seventy, I think nine cents. And I basically kind of destroy it because what I use it is to fill in uh, any missing areas in the tree, kind of beef it up a little bit. So this is my little tree right here. This is what I started with, okay? And what I was, what I wanted with this tree was a little one for my counter space or even my. I actually, I I decided that I wanted it for this. This here is my passage between my kitchen and uh, my dining room. So I wanted it to be a little bit organic, if you will. And so I said, well, how am I going to to do that? So I had a few cinnamon sticks that I actually had uh, when I did my harvest decoration, and they still had a cinnamony um, smell to them, and I didn't want to throw them away. So I actually just started putting them on the tree, and I said, you know what, I can actually do a potpourri tree in the kitchen and make it smell like uh, Christmas. So I decided to use some some cinnamon sticks here. I decided to use some anise star, right, because it's a star for Christmas, and some cloves, and you know cloves smell, oh my god, it's so good. And then I normally try not to uh, buy extra stuff, I kind of try to use what I already have, that way I don't need to, you know, keep buying and figuring out where I'm going to store all this stuff. So I kind of dismantled a wreath that I had that I no longer needed and was thinking of throwing it away, but I, I took the little pine cones that I had from it, and luckily enough, they had these cute little fake uh, apples, so I said, oh, that'll be cute, right, because it's kind of like a kitchen type of uh, a little pulpery tree, and it had these little fake berries, so we're going to glue gun these all on this, and also I use hazelnut, because you're going to watch what I'm going to do when the little tree is done, so I took the hazelnut and I actually used it as part of ornament on my little tree, so I've already begun, um, let me stand up so I can show you a little bit better, I've already begun uh, putting the hazelnut on there as well as the anise, uh, you can't really see the clothes, but they're in there, and I have the little hazelnut, it's funny, my husband was like, well, wait a minute, I like the hazelnuts. I'm like, honey, when Christmas is over, you can you can eat them because it's all a little gugum, right? And I made this cute little bowl uh, to put on top of uh, the tree once it's done. See how cute? But um, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do at the end. I have this uh, pedestal here that was gifted to me. It's a nice, cute pedestal. I love it because... You know, it's, it's a galvanized metal, which is very rustic, and my kitchen is rustic, and I have the wooden, you know, bottom to it. I also have some burlap, and I actually was lucky. I got really lucky because in Walmart, they had a roll, I swear, with like 30 square feet of burlap um, for seven bucks. So I bought it, and, you know, I went ham on my harvest decorations. Uh, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it really well, but back there, these pictures still have some of my harvest uh, uh, pictures that I had up, and I used some of the burlap. So I kind of just made a little hole in the middle, and you'll see what I'll do with that. So I got my glue gun here, and so I'm just going to continue to attach uh, the cinnamon sticks and whatnot. So I'm just going to snap them in half and kind of glue the back like so, and just attach them anywhere you see a little spot, it will take out some, some space, which is nice, and oh my god, it smells so good, you see, here we go, we're just kind of like crazy glue them all over, and like I said, I use this and I beef it up, I have some, uh, some of these, this is what I tear away from that garland that I find, and just kind of wrap it around the trees, I even 
and give a little arm um, to just creep it up a little bit. So let's let's go ahead and attach a few more blue on a few more of these tiny stars. Um, I think this is so it just smells so so good. I wish you could smell this right now. But I think this is a really really cute idea for the holidays. And um, it will have this house money just wonderful like the holidays, right? So we'll just keep gluing these and I'll do oh, the clothes. I just love the way the clothes smell. And I kind of stick to that. You know, you don't have to see these clothes. They're just kind of hidden in there. And you're like, oh, where are these little clothes? Uh, clothes smell coming from, but they're, they're hidden in there. And so we'll just attach them. Things. You know, I should put on a little silicone uh, tip because I'm constantly burning myself. So I'm going to go ahead now and basically put my little cones in the tree. I don't have many of these, so I'm going to actually put them in spaces where I feel, you know, they need a little beefing up. So there we go. I'm probably, I don't know spinning and it kind of works with it as we go along, right? So that's what you do. And it's so funny, right? Because when you decorate for the holidays, you have one idea in mind, and then all of a sudden, that idea turns into another idea, which is what normally happens with me. I'm like, oh yeah, I can start doing this, and then I'll say, oh, the hazelnuts, oh, the little pine cones. And so, here we go. And it just takes a little bit for the glue to actually so I hope everybody had a a nice Thanksgiving, you know, considering, right? I had a nice one. It was just myself, my husband, my son, and my parents um, that were over. And of course, I handed out some plates of food. Uh, to some of my neighbors that unfortunately would have celebrated with us but um, were unable to because of the situation that we're, we're in, right? But I started my holiday decorating right after and um, I'm still working on it. As you can see, I started my table and that's coming along but I still have some things that I want to do to it. So I'm not quite done with it yet. I'm not quite done with it yet. Today, uh, this year, my theme is all about the buffalo check. Yep, so I'm excited about that. We have one more cone. And it's too bad we don't have a Christmas tree shop. But when I go to the States, oh my God, I buy it at the store. I bring box back boxes. I bring back boxes because we don't have one. But we have what's called the Always 99, which is an Always 99 uh, sense. Um, you can't find a, a few good things, but, uh, you know, it's really a regular store. That's what they try to get, right? And so here we have the little, little cheap apples. Little cheap. But yeah, and I gotta get myself a new blue one because this baby is ready to be. Oh, the pastor. Put that in there. But I only have two of these, right? Mm -hmm. Work with what you got. Gotta work with what you got. Oh, put another one. I don't know, let's put one right up here. There we go. And then we're gonna add the berries. I kind of split these babies. They were a little bit bigger, but I decided, you know what? Let me just kind of split them. Because like I said, this, this idea just came to me. Pretty sure there's other trees like this with a, you know, a potpourri concept to them. It's funny, you know, you wear the silicone uh, finger pointed here, but I'm still using this hand and burning myself, right? But I'm on, we can get it together. And so here we got a few more berries to go. There we go. That's here. It's coming up really cute. So 
Oh, yeah. Still working on my tree. I have so much to do. I figure I'll be done in a couple of days because I go crazy. I, I'm ridiculous as a decorating. I absolutely have a love affair with, with Christmas. So I'm constantly trying to figure out what else can I add? What else can I do, right? And so.
put a little glue on top. I always kind of flatten the top because it's pointy and you don't want it pointy. You just want to put this cute little bowl on top like so. Isn't that cute? Look at it. How cute is that? And so then we're going to move our little plate away out and stop this by the glue gun. And then have my little bowls of those mixed nuts that I said. And we're just going to take them and put them all on the bottom like that. Isn't that cute? Look at that. I have another um, bag I'm going to open. And this is a fun way to display these, these mixed nuts. I mean, we, we, we bring them out every holiday, right? By Thanksgiving, and we always just kind of dump them in a bowl. And, and they're so pretty, right, that you want to kind of do something a little more than just throw them in a bowl with a, a nut cracker. So this is such a pretty way to just put your nuts on a vegetable, if you will. <laughs> and then you have your little nut cracker. You put it there. How cute is that? Look at that. Is that not adorable? And that's going to sit, let me tell you, right over here because this is where I actually want it to be. So that I'm going to that that's going to sit right there. Isn't that adorable? I love it. And if I find any more berries, you know, that fall off of my other wreaths and, and whatnot, I will be back attaching them to it. But look at this. Isn't this cute? Isn't that a good idea? Nice, huh? Well, I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial here, my little DIY on my little potpourri tree and, I don't know, my mixed nuts uh, display there. And thank you for watching my channel. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.